What's up, everybody? It's Ben with Ben's Brick Designs. Happy Thursday night. It's good to see you. We got one more day to the weekend. There's going to be a little blending in the background while we make our dog's food, and that's okay because this is real life, and we're all stuck at home, and we got to do whatever we got to do. So, <laughs> Beth says sorry. Um, hi, Lego Geek. How are you doing? Thanks for being here, everybody. If you're just joining... What? Okay. Um... If you're joining us from uh, other streams that have been going on today, uh, we're doing a fundraiser for Fairy Bricks. The link is in the description to donate to um, a GoFundMe that a LEGO streamer member has started up to help um, recoup some of the losses that Fairy Bricks has incurred. Last weekend they were, um, what's up Glenn, thanks for coming by. Last weekend they were um, burgled they weren't robbed because I don't think anyone was on premise and threatened, but in the dead of night, somebody cut through a wall and stole the company's van and about $15,000 worth or 15,000 sets. I, I don't know the specifics. They stole a lot of toys and the, um, the company basically provides uh, unopened Lego sets, so brand new Lego sets for uh, kids in hospital and hospice. So uh, this was a despicable act and... Um, after the GoFundMe was started, yes, Lego stepped forward and said that we will help, or they would help um, recover, or help not recover, but provide uh, replacements for anything that they lost. So that's great. But we are still um, we're still doing the fundraiser, and I don't know if I can, if I've got it up. I'm going to pull it up while I'm talking. Um, and. I want to find out where we are when we started so I can kind of see. So again, link in the description. Um, as of the start of this stream, they have raised 196 pounds. Now this is a British company. So our goal is to try to get more um, um, funds to the organization to help them with whatever they need. Now this is a good organization. You can kind of bookmark and do um, a donation every year if you'd like or become a member I guess I haven't really checked out their site but I did donate to the GoFundMe and I encourage you guys to do as well and you can see here here's the GoFundMe um, but again uh, Lego has tweeted that they will come forward and uh, help replace some of this lost stuff uh, the uh, room is coming along nicely Jerry thank or uh, Lego Geek thank you and hi Jerry how are you Good to see you back. First time I'm here about shame, someone would do that. This is actually the second time it's happened. So there's kind of a joke going around that maybe they should invest in security, but they are a nonprofit organization and a charitable organization. And sometimes, you know, high end security is not something that they can afford when they're spending a lot of money on Lego for sick kids. So it's kind of like, all right, the depths of humanity, guys, really. Um, so I'm going to be reminding you of that through the course of the stream tonight. Um, I might go a little long. I might try to go till 10 o'clock. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I feel like I've got a lot of housekeeping to go up, do up front. Um, right now we're doing the beer of tonight is from um, B52 Brewing. It's called Banana Stand, as in there's always money in the, and it's an Imperial Stout, and it looked good, and oh, doctor, that is tasty. B52 um, I think it's a bourbon barrel aged stout, but I'm only doing a 10 ounce because I know it's going to rot my stomach. I do have another one on, on tap, on deck, um, kind of a lighter beer, but we'll get to that. Yeah, they should scatter bricks on the floor at night. We're going to bring that up with them. <laughs> That's very good, Lego Geek. Um, yeah, Jerry, second time. It's, I think the first time it wasn't, I think they just... It was something about their truck. They did something with their truck, and I'm not sure. Anyway, 
we're going to get into the second part of the housekeeping, which is the contest winners from last time. As you may have remembered, last week uh, I had a 200 person, uh, 200 subscriber um, contest, and the winner of that contest will get a Ferrari F8 Tributo Speed Champion set. Now it retails at 20 bucks. That's about where I am with. 200 subscribers, so I mean, it's not a huge thing. Um, my friend Glenn has already said uh, that if he wins, go ahead and give it to somebody else, but I'm not even going to put your name in, Glenn, since you said that. Um, if you win, I will try to contact you. If you're seeing this late and I haven't been able to contact you, please get with me. I've got, I'm all over socials. Just find me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or anything like that. So without further ado, we've put all the names from the live comments and any comments that came in afterwards, because I said any comments on this video up until now, and this is all that came in. So from 1 to 13, and I have a random number generator here, and we're just going to press generate, and the number is 7. So the winner, in no particular order, is M.Productions. Now M.Productions I know was here last week and was very... Very happy to um, have new subscribers. So if you go find his channel, M. Productions on YouTube, you tell him that he's won if I don't get to him after this. And we'll try to hook up with him later. But I will get his address, and I will just mail it directly from Amazon or Lego or whatever. So um, I think that's a bit of housekeeping. Again, I'm going to be reminding you I don't have a nice crawler on the bottom, but... Uh, donate to Fairy Bricks, please. Uh, the, fun the GoFundMe link is in the description, if you would be so kind. And we'll keep an eye in the course of the night on how many people will donate. And I appreciate it very much. It goes to a good cause. Um, but the whole reason why you're here... Everything shakes. Let's do... Yeah, full camera. Because we're going to do an unboxing of... The Fiat 500 plus whatever special gift came with it. So this was delivered about four hours ago, so I'm really glad it got here. Uh, let's see what's in here, huh? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, I'm glad that we got a winner. I'm glad it was kind of a new subscriber because that's always good. I like I like it when it's a new person. Hopefully it endears them to come back again. I know that I've won a couple contests when I was a new subscriber on a channel, and now I am a lifelong fan of that channel. So, right. This box is a little bigger than the camera, so we're just going to get rid of this. All right, so the free gift with purchase is the 12-in-1 set. This is pretty cool. I've been kind of looking at this. Fragile and fully built. I got you. All right. Lego Geek, that's how you found my channel. Fantastic. You were on the 100 subscriber group, so that's pretty cool. All right, so we got that going. Um, I'm going to really chip quick close this, and we'll check back in to this guy later because I want to make sure to give myself plenty of... Uh, and if you guys can't get to the... Um, oh... Shoot, I'm streaming on wireless. Well, that sucks. I don't think I can switch over without losing it. So I think we're just going to have to um, go wireless tonight. Sorry, everybody. This might be a little choppy. If it gets choppy, I apologize because um, we've got a couple things streaming. I've got it hooked up, but I never remember to turn that on. So, But I don't want to interrupt the stream. So, I don't know what I'm doing. We're not going to open this one. This is for later. This, I might make Beth build some of these. Because if there's instructions for all of them, that's something she can do. Um, oh, also real quick. If you don't know, check your Lego collection. Sometimes you may find that you have a gold mine in parts. So, I got these in a bulk order. I can't really go into the details of the bulk order, but I got a lot of these. I got about 50 of them. And somebody said, and years ago, years ago, and uh, somebody on our lug page was like, does anybody have any of these? I'm trying to build a, a thing. And I was like, I've got a ton of those. And then I looked up on BrickLink, and 
they they're pretty expensive in quantity. Um, like you can get one for like 75, 80 cents, but all the stores have like only one, right? So if you wanted to get five, you have to go to five different stores and then pay two, three, four, five dollars in shipping every time. That can add up, right? So one person had them for, they had four of them and each one was $14. So I was like, huh, how many is 48 then? It's like $700 bag of Lego right here. If you're lucky. Not everybody gets that. So, all right. So yeah, check your stuff. Do a, uh, an inventory every once in a while. See what you got. So here we are. This is the Fiat. This is the creator. Is it expert? Yes, it's an expert creator Fiat. It is not a UCS. It is not an idea set. It is, it's a Fiat Nuvo. Nuvo. Um, I'm excited for this. It'll go with the cars, the car lineup here. Um, the Mustang is going to be here tomorrow. So after this is built, I'll be able to stream the Mustang too. Although I might take a break and do, oh, this doesn't have, that's weird. It has the push tabs. All right. Um, yeah, so I might take a break and do some micro fighting, fighter designs and then come back to the, the Mustang. Sleepy Kodiak, I'm sorry to say Sleepy Kodiak, you did not win. Uh, we did that at the top of the, the stream. Um, the winner from last time was uh, M Productions. But I really super appreciate you being here. Again, this is, for, this is a fundraising stream. So please, if you can, um, there's a link in the description um, along with a brief synopsis of what happened. Um, please check it out. Donate if you can. Uh, save yourself a coffee, maybe, and you know, donate to some kids who get toys, basically. All right, so we got a sizable introduction for an uh, instruction book. Looks like we got some stuff for some soft cloth bits. Hey, thanks, Sleepy. I appreciate it. And again, I apologize for the if it gets uh, choppy. I'm on wireless, and it might drop. I don't know because I'm stupid and didn't hook everything up properly. All right, so bag one, bag one, three, two, three, two, three. All right, we'll come back to those. Get those out of shots. I'm gonna try to open these off camera. Ooh, that's very small. All right, so we've got a soft top, I'm guessing here, bit. Let's open this guy up. Yeah, the Lego Geek, when I found out how much that was, I was a little shocked. I, I don't have too many, like, nice old um, bricks laying around. Like, no, I don't have any really nice old minifigures or anything like that. Ugh, bump the camera. But finding out that I that some of those older pieces are, that I still have them, that was pretty cool. I do have, like, one or two pieces from the old UCS sets that are old gray domes and cockpit pieces that are large. So here's the other thing. I probably will be putting stickers on this because I think I put stickers on all the other cars. So I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. I don't plan on taking these apart, so I probably will. And again, the stickers have gotten better over the years. So this looks like it's got kind of a 60s vibe to it. Um, 60s Italy. That was always a fun time to be around. That would have been a great time to be alive and a great location to be alive in. Um, so, yeah, let's get going. Uh, let's see, the heritage it reads a little bit of the history of the car. Uh, there's actually a lady across the street from us who has one of the new Fiats too, so. La Dolce Vie. The pretty life, the good life, the challenge. Yeah, you gotta, that's the one thing about Lego too, is that you, it's hard to get curvy unless you get like specific pieces. I guess we're gonna jump right in. Unless you get specific curvy pieces, slopes, and um, there's those ones that came 
uh, balloon sets that you know you now have curvy pedals. Oh, hey. I'm gonna stay off camera. You're gonna stay off camera, but Beth brought me. We got our first wedding present. These nice rocks glasses, and we're drinking Basil Hayden. Mm -hmm. We're drinking Basil Hayden, which is a Kentucky. It's a Kentucky bourbon, and I'm supposedly related to Basil Hayden. Oh yeah, she's like it's like a cousin five times removed or something like that. So Slancha, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Slancha, cheers. Here's to you. Oh. I'm the worst Kentuckian in the world. That's smooth. That's good stuff. I really want to put Cherry Coke Zero in it, but I don't think you can do that with these. I think that's like a... Oh yeah, you're bastardizing. Ooh. Sorry. It's a wholesome family affair oh, that we're drinking fun. beverages. Um, you're ruining the ambiance of the glass by... I don't know. I don't have any idea. I'm not a bourbon drinker, but... Oh, God. I want to be so The happy. warmth. The warmth. Oh, it's got a little spice on the tongue, and it's warm going back. It's nice. Uh, let's see. I'm waiting for the UCS set depicting the stormtrooper smacking his head on the, the door. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, if you watch, and they're coming into the door. He's kind of on the... On your right, his left, right? So they're all coming in. He's the tallest stormtrooper. They didn't move the door out of the way. Hits. Bonk. Kept it in the movie. That we're in such a rush to get inside. Uh, ooh, we have a Cafe Con Lego sighting. Thanks for coming by, Cafe. I appreciate it. Her stream was shortly before mine. I think there was about a half hour lag. I feel bad, Cafe, because a lot of the people that we've been kind of hanging out with, as much as you can hang out with, I've discovered a lot of new YouTube cohorts and contemporaries, most of which are half my age, so, I mean, whatever. Me and Butt Chop, that's the only people that, I think, there's a group of guys too, Steve something, uh, a lot of the British guys are a little older, but the British guys never get to see my show because it's like three in the morning there right now, so I'm really glad you're here, appreciate it, cheers, if you got yourself a beverage of some kind. Oh, that's smooth. Um, again, please... If you have just joined us, um, note that the description has a, I think I'm missing a bag, has a um, bit about, oh no, there it is, okay. It's like for a hot second, I was like, what? This is the smallest first bag I've ever seen. The description has... A link to a fundraiser for Fairy Bricks. Please consider donating. A dollar, five dollars. If I find out somebody donates like a hundred dollars, I'll draw them something. I will build them something. Um, oh, speaking of building, it's not in the um, description, but I put up my owl, which is now in bag form, on Rebrickable. So go check out Rebrickable. Ben's Brick Designs Rebrickable. There is a barn owl for sale. The instructions are five bucks. I don't know how, many, how much the parts are going to be. I had most of these parts. I think I bought, I don't know, probably $30 worth of parts at some point. <sighs> yeah, because his first step, there was this bracket here. I was like, I don't have that in here. No bueno. So how's the, how'd your stream go, Cafe? Was it good? Good, good, good. All right. Oh, the whole, wow. This first bag just, it, it, it's like a, it's like a Russian nesting doll of little bags. I'm also going to turn this off to give myself even more, there we go, more success. Try to shut everything off that I can. Uh -uh. And I lost that one piece. Oh, there it is. Finally. Okay, it's 819, first thing put together. So I'm excited for this set because... Um, as you can see, cars, right? 
mini bus bug bus uh microfibers over here space stuff idea sets i'm trying to get all the cool stuff up here um there's still i mean like i still have a bunch of sets that are off camera that you can't see uh glenn says i want the lego nest but just for the build and the pieces i was never a nest guy you know um i oh yeah who's hyped for the lego nest personally not a gamer but it looks amazing i am all about the build and the functionality and the nostalgia i think it's going to be an amazing set um, I'm not really sure the price. It's 200 or 260 or 230. Um, I've heard some some Brits talking about it, some Aussies talking about it, and I'm not entirely sure based on that because there's conversions. Um, Rick Nick was Rick and Nick was talking about it. He's Canadian, so I mean, there's another conversion there. All right, so. Yeah, I guess so. Um, it looks very cool. Yeah, the, the console is bigger than the TV. That is very true. I uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's the guy who did M Smiley. He's the guy who did this set, right? Which I got a copy signed from him at Brick Fiesta, so that was very cool. Um, he had at Brick Fiesta a... I think it was another idea set of his that it was a fish tank uh, aquarium and it was that same sort of rotational you spin it like that and it, they rotate around the sides and there were a lot of people him included who were doing more of that kind of not really playability but action kind of uh, quality to a set where it's not just a, a stagnant thing but it's also not really a toy it's it's a movable piece of sculpture or art um, and it's, it was just fairly cool and I think a lot of that came around that around that time like a lot of people were doing that US most likely cantina thoughts um, I'm a Star Wars guy and I'm not really I don't think it's gonna be an official UCS like the um, like the ships are um, I think it's going to be more like the Bespin one, where it's kind of just a, a expert builder series or whatever. Not like expert like this, but like whatever they had it before, they had a Bespin something builder series. Because I think it's still going to have like little bits of uh, figure interaction and stuff. So, oh wow. Yeah, it's like it's gonna be expensive. It's it's twenty it's twenty six hundred pieces. So I mean, it's gonna be if it's only two hundred sixty bucks, that's within price point range. So you know, it's still it's still not a bad cost for what you're getting. Um, I am I'm gonna get the crap out of it. I've already told Beth that she needs to get it for Christmas for me. That's my Christmas present. Like right off the bat, this is fragile. Like it's hooked on right here, but just that one stud. I'm not sure how that's, I guess now that's more stable. Um, no, two by four red bricks. The person stealing from sick children should get beat with a steel chair. Yeah. Oh, M Productions, by the way, you won. Congratulations. You're gonna win. A, a Speed Champion Ferrari set. Um, that was something that was suggested as a good set to do, so we're gonna roll with that, and congratulations. Um, so, um, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter. Actually, do Instagram, it's Ben's Brick Design on Instagram. Or, um, yeah, and just, uh, if we're not already friends, friend me there, or follow me there, and then we can exchange uh, information, and I'll get that sent out to you. Congratulations again, and tell all your friends about this video and all the other Fairy Bricks donations videos going on right now. Um, try to get the word out, try to get more people to donate. <laughs> That's a good step. I didn't want to be in the giveaway. Oh, well, you were, my friend.
You came in looking for some fun and some action and some friends and some new subs. And guess what? You got put in the contest. The contest was for anybody who commented during the stream. Something. So that's... And if I tell you what, if you feel uncomfortable receiving it, I can send it to... Or I can donate another $20 to Fairy Bricks. So that's up to you. Um, I'll leave that... I'll leave that up to you. Um, I, I appreciate you coming back. I appreciate the subscription. Um, but yeah, let me know how you'd like to handle that. And we will totally do what you like. And I thought I had muted all those alerts that come across the Mac, but I guess I didn't. I'm refusing the prize. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I will donate another $20 to Fairy Bricks. But I appreciate you coming back and saying hello. There, no. All right. Geico knows. Nope, Geico knows nothing. All right, y'all. This kind of stuff bothers me because I can't see it. Nice turquoise brick right there. I've uncovered every brick and I do not see the one that I'm missing. Hmm. Well, okay. Right off the bat. Unless it's in one of these other piles and I'm not seeing it here either. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm trying to not to be panicky and all, you know, it's missing pieces. So I was watching, and I forget whose stream it was. It was It's one I haven't watched a whole lot. But they had a set that literally was missing like 15 pieces. And I just could, I was, I was, I was smacked of gob. I was gassed of flabber. Um... 30 minutes in, uh, it's, it's going slow. We had a lot to do at the beginning of the show, so there was a lot of talking and uh, a lot of drinking, and um, we're, we're going. I think I'm going to try to go till 10 instead of 9.30, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, thanks, Kodiak. I appreciate it, man. Sweet. Thank you very much. Um... And Fairy Bricks thanks you as well. Uh, donate to Fairy Bricks or something. I will do that uh, in productions. Thank you very much. I also subbed you, by the way. Um, I hope to see some stellar content coming out of your channel soon. This is really awkward looking. But, that lines up. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, look at these buttery yellow inverted 2x2 two two curved slopes. That's a new piece for me. Again, I need to have a notepad next to me so every time I build and I run across a new piece, because the new elementary site and email that I get is fantastic, but sometimes I'm not getting that set. So um, it would be cool to be able to like, oh, I really like this piece, write it down. And then next day, go on BrickLink and order 100 of them or something. Ben, quick tip, I don't do giveaways. Cool, man. I personally think that the most popular choice for the Fiat, but such a weird choice of color in general. Uh, yeah, I agree. It is a weird color. Um, I would think it would be this one or sort of a like a pistachio ice cream green, you know? Um, that's kind of what I think of too, kind of that classic Vespa color. Um, I think that would be pretty cool too. And I'm guessing there's some pieces that you could get that 
you could replace in here and get that, not quite this color, but a little lighter. I think that'd be pretty choice as well. All right, this is a five. And we will do that. So I was also thinking, now that I have some of my regular viewers here, that I'm going to probably do switch my Sundays. I was toying with the idea of switching my Sunday night stream to a Sunday morning stream. Two reasons. One, I've met a lot, I've run into a lot of uh, European, British, Irish people who live in the Netherlands who are not necessarily Dutch. Um, who uh, aren't able to see my stream at eight o'clock because it's like three in the morning there, three or four in the morning. So, olive drab, that'd be that'd be wow, that'd be choice. Um, I was thinking of doing a Sunday morning and then a Thursday night stream to see if I could get, you know, get to communicate with a couple people that I don't necessarily communicate with because they're all asleep. And when they're streaming, I'm at work. It's the middle of the day for me. So, I'm going to set that aside because we have another bit to start. So, I hope I don't lose regular viewers in that process, but Sunday morning, have a nice breakfast, come hang out, we'll chit-chat. Um, there'll probably be a lot less drinking unless I can squirrel up a lot more orange juice and champagne for mimosas or Bloody Marys, get some vodka going. You're streaming at 5.30 tomorrow. Brilliant. I will come check it out. I usually get done about a half hour. Uh, 5.30 what time? Uh, what time zone? Because that has to be asked now. Because I just can't assume everybody's in central time U.S. Minus 5. Is it minus 5 UTC? I think it is. Morning. I get up at 8.30 every morning. So, if so, I'd honestly love that. I'm busy by the evening most of the time, which is why I'm not here as much. Well, there you go. I got one person, and that's all it takes. Yeah, I mean, I get up at, like, I'm old, so I get up at, like, 6.30, no matter work day, weekend, whatever. So, I mean, I could wake up, go mow the lawn, come back, do a stream and then I've got like the rest of my day so that'd be cool Eastern all right 5 30 Eastern tomorrow so I will be just getting off work I might be able to catch some of that mountain mmm I used to live in mountain used to live in Denver Still have family up there. My bro and my mom and dad. Not in Denver. My brother's in Denver. The rest of them are outside of Denver, but still in Colorado. Yikes. Yeah, this first little bit's a little... A little touchy. I think, actually, my owl is a little stronger than this at the very beginning. Plug. That's a plug. Go to Rebrickable. Look up Barn Owl. It's mine. Buy the instructions. Please and thank you. Do you ever plan on doing a guest stream in the future? Lego Geek, I was just talking to Beth about that. She was like, what is StreamYard? And I explained to her what StreamYard was because she is listening to a Canadian podcast and they just did a trivia, an online trivia, and they use StreamYard. So she's like, what, why do people use it? I'm like, well... You can have other people on with you and basically have a like a conference call with up to nine people and then other people can watch it on YouTube. Um, I don't know. I don't, you know, no one's ever, other than you right now, no one's ever said, hey, you should do this with us. Um, the only other time I've done something like that is with um, Kevin. Hinkle when I was doing his drawing stream, but that was his. I was just a guest on that.
but I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind like sitting around chewing the fat with people. Uh, I'd have to set up a StreamYard account. Um, and I just dropped money on a restream subscription. So I'm not really in the mode to like spend a ton more money just yet, but uh, we'll see. I'm not opposed to the idea. You Gungan sub micro my oh my Gungan sub micro fighter is so cool. Thank you very much. I'm really shocked that honestly there's a couple that they didn't do. Like a Republic Y Wing should have been a micro fighter. The Gungan sub could have been a micro fighter. Um, I don't think they have. Um, I don't know. Do they have an official Tie Fighter? I thought they did. Anyway, there's a couple that I'm like. I don't know why you guys don't have this. It's just. It's just bad practice that you don't. There's so many fans who would buy this. And to be honest, there's a lot of us who've already built our own. You could kind of approach any one of us and say, we really like this design, we're gonna do it. Or would you work with us to improve your design? I'm sure there's a few of us who'd be like, yes, please. I would love to do that with you. Yeah, but there's a handful of ships out there that could be done. The pod racers would be super cute as um, micro fighters, and I'm doing them, so stay tuned. Let's see, am I missing something? Mountain, uh, 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 that's right, you were mentioning Denver a few streams ago. Yes, I was. StreamYard's free. StreamYard's free, but um, there's a subscription for it, I believe, that removes a certain limitation that I think a lot of us would use, but that was at the beginning when Google Hangouts was um, was first nixed, and everybody kind of left the sinking ship and went over to StreamYard. Oh man, Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. Um, but they may have changed since then. I'll have to go look it up. Uh, zen, zen, zen like hell. <laughs> the letters, they just all smushed together. I am building Zen like hell, a uh, Fiat 500. Nouveau. Nuovo. Just starting, basically, because we had a lot to get through in the first part of the thing. The micro lat is a little too chunky. The micro lat, yes. It's, yeah, some of them are a little... There's a couple of people out there. There's one guy, and I forget who did it, did redid the X-Wing, and it was so good. It was the exact same size, but it was so not a little chibi fighter. Um, and I think the problem that we're now running into is when micro fighters started, there weren't these slick pieces like that. And barely like this, right? I don't think I remember these until a couple of years ago, or these. Right? So there's all these great pieces that we have now that they did back then. So we're taking advantage of it by redo. There's models that I made three years ago now, and I'm like, ugh, that's terrible. I'm gonna go back and redo that, and I have. Um, I redid my uh, ARC, yeah, the ARC, uh, ARC 170 fighter. Redid that one, cause I liked the design, but it was so big. Um, there and there's a couple more of mine that are just too big. They're fun. They're still kind of micro fighter scale, but they're just too big. Uh, minifigure collector, welcome back, man. Does it have the little accessory thing in the trunk? I think it does. I think it's got the little. It's got a painting. So I'm thinking there's like an easel, an easel that goes with a little basket with an easel, um, which is super great. Um, my as a third generation Italian. I don't even know if that counts as anything now. But my grandpa's dad was straight from Italy and he uh, came over here and changed his name and was like, I want nothing to do with you because you, my dad, are a philandering jerk. So I'm going to drop the family name and I'm going to be my own person in America. So he came over here and he started his own life. And um, my grandpa is an artist, so he's like this little Italian artist. 
So this set is just kind of perfect, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to, to build this. And also my grandparents had the VW bus too. So um, having that and building that and kind of remembering what it was like as a kid to crawl around inside it when we went places, just great. So great. Some things are oh, okay, shut up. Um, I have no affinity for a Mustang or a Mini or anything like that, but they kind of are in the same build sphere as these, so I got them anyway because they look fun. There's a suitcase that sits on a rack in the back. Cool. Foxy Grandpa Bricks. Man, that's that's choice. If, if I didn't know that name was already taken by you, I would have done it. I'm not a grandpa, but that's a great name. Welcome, welcome. I hope you uh, enjoy the stay. Get yourself a beverage. Uh, stay a while. Listen to some music once the commercial's over. Build some brick. Uh, I'll be back next week. Have fun time building. Bye, Lego Geek. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate it. As always, Murderer's Band of Thugs. I just finished Vader's Mustafar Castle building since 5 p.m. My goodness. That is a that is a set that I would like to get. Um, it's a little... I'm not sure what I would do with it. I always think of like display stuff, but it looks like it would be a, a great display piece on top of uh, everything else. All right, so this goes in the back here. Like so. Can you guess who I am? Foxy Grandpa Bricks. Um, no, I can't. Please check out page Are seven. you somebody Sorry, I know? Start listening now. Uh, can't be anybody. I am Foxy Grandpa Bricks. I'm not a grandpa, so you're not making fun of me. Yeah, potato, potato, tomato, hand grenade. <laughs> um... Again, while we're waiting for the music to come back up and I'm filling some time here, link in the description, doing this stream as a fundraiser for Fairy Bricks. Please consider donating to Fairy Bricks. They had a robbery um, that robbed them of several thousand sets. Uh, they are a organization that donates to children in hospital and hospice care. Um, please consider following the link in the description and donating as much as you can. Consider not having a cup of coffee tomorrow. I know, I know. And instead, giving five bucks to a worthwhile charity. Yes, Lego's already said they'd step in and help replace all their missing Lego, but as a community, it behooves us to also act. So please consider acting. And with that, we return you to some music. It's a little loud. I was in the stream recently. Glenn, I got your new name from Foxy Grandma. I was in the stream recently. Okay, I have no idea. Um, I think it might be my son. I don't know. He might join and do something weird like that. All right, well, I can't find that now. I don't know if my kid would call me Foxy Grandpa, though. That seems weird, so I'm out of guesses. All right, I need that one. There it is. I'm kind of not digging this one. Is it okay if I just don't dig that one? That's more lo-fi stuff. I have no relation to you. Okay. And then I give up. I have no context clues. There were a couple people who were in the stream recently. You mean recently as in today? Or last week? Or yesterday? I'm really bad at this and I apologize. Got my attention kind of in the, in the moment. In the moment, you dig? No, this is just my silly alt account name. Uh, uh, 
there's like a handful of people that usually come onto my stream, and I'm trying to think of who it might be. It's not the Lego Geek. Is it M Productions? Is it Zen Like Hell? Is it Minifigure Collector? Is it in a world where a chatter won't tell me his name? One man will continue to build his Lego model until the mystery is revealed. Ben Rollman stars in Foxy. Grandpa breaks. I don't know what just happened. It's a good thing I don't do movie voiceovers. I just, I, I don't have a very deep voice. I'm what's called a second tenor. <laughs> yes, today in the last 10 minutes. And I apologize, just tell me, just tell me, who are you? I was hoping for more lo-fi. I really need some lo-fi stuff. I have, a, I have a friend who does a, um, I'll host his, on Twitch, I'll host his, <laughs> M Productions, gotcha. Um, I'll host his stuff on Twitch later, but he does miniature paintings for, like, gaming, and, uh, he's got, you know, got the glasses and got his, um, his camera all down real close in on his uh, work and uh, he was like what? No, wrong one. He was telling me, oh you need to get this one music streaming service because and he told me what it was and it's basically the one I've been listening to for a while. I was like I will, thank you. But also he was like it's very good like Lo-fi trance, not trance, but lo-fi kind of stuff. And I was like, perfect, that's exactly what I want. And then all I ever get when I listen to it is like that, which is fine. I'm just not in the mood for that right now. Have you checked out Dreamwave? If you're looking for lo-fi, that might be your flavor. I mean, if it's like this, I just need like background... There's so many lo-fi radio channels on YouTube that I would love to listen to because it's perfect. And I've been listening to those channels for years, but I can't listen to them while I'm streaming because somebody will bark at me. And then my stream will get yanked. Um, so I'll check it out. Dreamwave. Gotcha. Thanks, man. Because I would just listen to this. I mean, I would listen to this at work all day. The thing that I listen to at work, oddly enough, two things. I listen to the Horizon Zero Dawn soundtrack, the full four-hour version of it, just on loop. Like, that's all I'll ever listen to. It's so great for some reason. It's not even, like, the best musical score ever, ever or anything, but it's perfect for what I need. Um, I also listen to the like 24 hour or 10 hour or whatever loops of the Star Trek, the Enterprise Next Generation bridge. Just the hum of the engines and the beep of the computer. I just put that on and just kind of chill out. So yeah, because I am like that. I love those round, those rounded tiles. So good. Oh, not focused. There we go. Oh, barely. Okay. Brick bunnies. Rick Bunnies TV, how you doing? I appreciate you coming by. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm hoping other people are having success with their uh, streams as well. Cy O'Connor's in. Thanks for being here, Cy. Thank you. It's not rocket surgery. That's one of my favorite phrases to say. And uh, when Beth and I started dating, I would say it all the time. And she's like, what are you saying? And I'm like, it's not rocket surgery. She's like, you mean rocket science? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm I'm being I'm being purposely difficult. Hey, cat. Stop it. I'm like talking to some good people over here. Slow your roll. Um <laughs> I just got a message from Glenn. Hang on. Oh, happy fiat building. 
Thanks for coming by, Glenn. I appreciate it. Hey, I got 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Good stopping to say hi and dropping a like. Thanks, Brick Bunnies TV. I appreciate it. Yeah, so she found this shirt like years later, and I could not believe it. It was the best thing ever. And I just, I, I wish the I wish the phrase was higher up because I've got kind of a belly, and sometimes it kind of gets tucked under when I'm sitting. But that's, you know, if I wanted more people to see it, I'd lose weight, and I would stop drinking whiskey <laughs> and bourbon barrel aged beer. Mm. Yeah, I've got a big old fat tub of loaf covered in uh, hair named Fizzgig. Um, cause for the longest time I thought I was a cat person and I still think I'm a cat person. I am a cat person. Is that supposed to clip? Oh wait, I missed a whole step here. Way back. Yep, sure did. Um, Yavo, I am a cat person. I grew up with cats. Um, I've had, this is my third cat, so I haven't had a lot of cats, but a lot of cats. But I identify them with them more. That's better. That's kind of a slick thing right there, the way that clops, clips down like that. But uh, Beth is a dog person, so when we got together, she had a dog, and then we got another dog, and I love this new dog. She is kind of the best. And I'm kind of starting to think that my cat's kind of dick. He's just such a... Oh, God, all he wants to do is eat. He's just a big old fat tub of fur. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's still sweet. But... Snapfan64, how are you, my good sir, or ma'am, or they, or person of indeterminate internet pixels? How are you? Good to, good to see you. Good to hear from you. Good to see your text. Um, again, I'm going to repeat myself a little bit. In the description is a donation link to Fairy Bricks. Please consider donating. The story is all in the GoFundMe page. Um, it is a charity that was robbed last weekend. They give Lego sets to sick kids, so whoever did it is a complete uh, dummy dumb head for doing that and robbing literally kids of joy, the joy that is Lego. Um, black cat called Alan. I would love Alan. I would love to have cats named like Roger, <laughs> Steve, you know, just random like person names. Uh, Eunice, something really old and weird. Um, yeah, so it's Sir, by the way. I live in the theme. I, I the theme snap. It's Sir, by the way. I, I. The th okay. All right, I'm missing something, but it's a, it's all good. Snap. Uh, but that's why we love them. They're quirky. Oh, they're... They're more than quirky. He's a dog cat, too. He's one of those, like, super friendly cats that jumps up on your lap and, like, smashes his head into yours and wants you to pet him and... He, you know, barks at you at six in the morning when you're not feeding him, and he's just all, I'm a cat, you know, and he's kind of, kind of all out there. He's not a timid, he doesn't run away from people, um, which is good because he's got two older, or he's got two bigger sisters in the house, his, uh, the two dogs, just two big black menaces. It's weird, they're the exact, they look pretty much the, the same. Um, but they're completely different breeds. Kind of funny. Cats don't have odors, they have staff. That is very true. Snap fan, do you like Technic 2? I love Lego Snap. Very true, Brick Bunnies. Yeah, ask us if you, ask people. So yeah, what, uh, in the chat, what are some of your favorite themes, sets, um, moves that Lego has done in recent years, uh, things that they had, what are some things you don't like? Because I have a feeling we're going to get onto a, um, Bionicle's the greatest, uh, Ninjago's the best. I myself am a Star Wars person, um, but I'm also, 
I'm not classic space because classic space, and I am old, but classic space was, um, I, I didn't start collecting that. When I started collecting was Futron because I was able to go to the mall, ride my bike to the mall, to the KB Toys, and get myself a set after I'd saved up my allowance. Um, and uh, so, and the sets that were out at the time were uh, Futron sets. So that's what I had. Oh, that's just a, is that just a shiny? Oh yeah, pearl gold flower, neat. That's gotta be an engine because that's gotta be a little cog of some kind in there. Belt. Uh, black head. So I wasn't able really to get into classic space because by then it was hard to find and it's not like there was a resale market at the time. So unless you started getting those as a kid and held on to them, you were kind of SOL. Um, but, I, you know, Blacktron, Blacktron 2, Space Police, Mtron, Ice Planet, um, all that stuff. I hoarded. Like, I had everything. UFOs. I uh, had those weird robots for a while. Um, Town and Train. That's good. Dimensions. I have a bunch of discs from Dimensions, but I never got the figures of the games or anything. From 9 Volt to RC. From 9 Volt to RC to Hobby Track. Okay. So, okay. Train person. We've got a huge train group here in Austin, actually a little farther south in San Antonio, and I never got, I, I actually had train sets as a kid, but I never got into Lego trains. Um, I don't know why. Oh, that's so loud. Yeah, I think I got all the pieces on that one. So I wish Glenn was here, because I could tell him my little story of, oh no, I did get all the pieces on that. Dang it. Um, I have a habit of, well, and that's why, because now it's all going to fall apart. I have a habit of forgetting instructions, or forgetting pieces and instructions, and it come to bite me in the butt layer. And I was putting my, uh, let's see if I can get that in there. i to get this little guy in there. Um, I, was, I had to take my dryer apart, and uh, because the uh, heating element blew out, or maybe the thermostat, or maybe the fuse. I don't know. I pulled the whole thing out and replaced it. And then when I got done, I put it all back together and it worked. And there was a screw. And I'm like, dang it. I, you know, I, I almost had taken pictures of like everything that was in there. I was like, surely I didn't, I wasn't this bad. I don't like that either. Sounds like Hamilton. Hmm. Uh, Donkey Connor. Hey, Reed. Hey, Hope Castle. How's it going? Never got into powered up stuff or geared stuff. I feel like kind of a schmuck. Um, have any ice spears? Lava? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, I need a chaser for that. I'm chasing whiskey with a bourbon barrel aged Imperial Stout. I should have called into work tomorrow. Love of the Great 619, thanks for being here. See that in the chat? Uh, don't think that was on there first. Yeah, so Space and Star Wars, that's kind of where my um, milieu lives. Oh, and then it clips down on that thing. Well, isn't that precious? That's pretty slick. I don't know if you can see that. That little. You could for like a half second, and then it went out of focus. All right. Uh, okay, so we got those. Oh, I didn't put these on. Decapped my ice bears last night. I'm good. I was lining them up for storage until remodel of Hope Castle was done. Nice. So, can anyone go check? Because I don't want to pull it up and interrupt the stream, really. Although, you know what? I can do it over here. Won't be that big a deal. 
I was gonna go see. Should still be up. We are at 296, y'all. Wow, hey, man, sleepy, really? That's fantastic. That's just baller. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Fairy Bricks appreciates that. All of us YouTube Legoers really appreciate that. That is very, very generous of you. Um, tax deductible, so good. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, I did say something about if somebody donated more than like 50 or 75 bucks, I would draw something or mail something or drop something. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll... Um, I will let, and I think it was, uh, oh, now I can't remember. Was it um, the organizer? It wasn't click, um, shoot. Somebody said that if somebody donated more than like 50 pounds or something, they would draw them or they would draw a, a sig fig or something for them. So I'm going to keep your name in a list and send it to them um, to let them know. Um, and then we'll work something out. But that's very generous of you. Thank you very much. That feels good. I should do this more often and just pick random charities and just go, hey guys, these people need your eyeballs and your wallets. Now I know why people man phones and te do telephones. Ooh, there's a hose. I haven't seen one of these in an age. Wow, look at that thing. These things are ancient. That's so great. 269, personally I enjoy Lego for the creativity of the medium. Given Lego sets are neat, but I also enjoy new stuff conjured from the bricks that the original creators never intended. Mmm, mocks. You're thinking mocks. And, funny enough, if everyone's done donating and uh, stuff, I would like to suggest that you go back to Rebrickable and check out my barn owl <laughs> available for five dollars the instructions are on five dollars um it was what beth was building last time i was having her test out the instructions and uh i had to redo parts of it um, i had my son check it out too and he's like yeah there's a couple things that need work but overall it's pretty good so but now it is available on Rebrickable. You should go check it out. Was it $100? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that has to go under. All right. Look how complicated the engine is getting. That's some fun stuff right there, y'all. Oh, and you know what? It's a little angled. Oh, no, it's not. I'm missing a piece. Way under there. I've got to slow down. I get so distracted. Uh, um chatting and listening to music and talking that sometimes I forget that I'm actually building something. There we go. Now it's straight. All right, can't really see it. <clears throat> Part of why I built the SU-35. I'm currently working on the T-90. Sweet. Um, if you've got that's available anywhere to look at. I would love to look at that. Uh, big fan of like um, real world kind of machines and mocks and stuff. <clears throat> Evan Confessions Nat Fan 64 was me and Lava the Great 60. Oh, okay. M. Productions is going through and Snowing us. With the um, the additional personas.
Oh, goodness. Do I follow you on Instagram? I think I do. Waiting for the last few parts before I finish the T90. I think I follow you on Instagram. If not, I will rectify that as soon as I can. Does my giveaway entry count as a donation? Sure, why not? I mean, I haven't decided if I'm actually going to, because the thing is they're going to have access to so many sets that me sending a set is kind of like, all right, well, that was cute, but, you know, the money is probably more important. So if I send them 20 bucks, that's probably, they could probably use that more effectively. But I don't know. Maybe. But yes, it counts, it counts as a donation. For sure. Oh, this seems like a waste of these round plates, man. They're so pretty, they're little butter yellow. That seems like a waste. Four. Sounds like on a very special Melrose place. But it's Dave Hollingshed, Hollingshed, I think it's Hollingshead, right? Uh, if you aren't following that, yeah, that sounds familiar. I may already be, but if not, I will rectify that. Uh, everybody go follow him on Instagram. Everybody do it. Do it now. I said, go do it. Uh, speaking of which, I'm about to post the project I've been working on during this stream. Sweet. I mean, I'm going to be here. Everybody go jump off and go check out the, the project. I'll be here when you get back. No worries. I feel like I'm in a bit of a groove now, so nobody talk to me. Ooh, that's, wow. See what you mean by fragile. This doesn't, I, I probably haven't got to the fragile bits yet, but this really does feel like I've, I've got half this stuff on wrong. But it is an expert set, and they have to get a certain look, and they have to get a certain um, size, and a certain shape, and a certain amount of pieces. And I'm sure this went through several iterations before they got it right. Um, so that's cool. Shush. This is the only thing that's keep that's making me want to get Spotify Premium is this stupid. Going through ads and junk, hate it. It's especially annoying when you're on like a road trip and uh, cause sometimes when you're driving by yourself or you're walking or you're working out or you're doing something, it goes, hey, you want a half hour of music? And you're like, yeah, sure. And they're like, listen to an ad. And you're like, all right. And you do, and it's fine. But then you go on a road trip and they're like, oh, we got you. You're not going anywhere for a while. We're just going to play an ad every two songs, and there's nothing you can do about it. And you're like, oh, God, I should have sprung for the premium before I went on this stupid road trip. Oh, yeah, no problem, dude. We're all in this together. We're all sharing and making sure that everybody sees all our projects and spreads the love. And Because, I mean, you know, you're you're – your project now turns into an instruction booklet that nets you a couple bucks um, that gets you noticed by other people and other people at conventions will come and see you. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it kind of rolls down. It, that's the wrong expression because of what rolls downhill. But I mean, everybody can benefit from 
Well, not the way I build brick, apparently. Everybody can benefit from what we're doing, so it's all good. Now I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, I did this really wrong. What did I do? Oh. Oh, my bad. M Productions, go to YouTube and search for M. Productions. Make sure you put the dot in there or else it won't work. M. Productions. Now back to the music. You're on Love Line with Ben's Brick Designs. Hello, caller. I think she left me. Oh, and that's way... Derp, derp, derp. Yeah, gotta slow down. But we caught it in time, that's what's important. Oh, yeah, well, you know what, Sleepy, I'm totally with you. This is, my 9 to 5 is tech support. <laughs> and I do this when I'm done with tech support. Um, I like being able to then turn some of it into things that get me, like, a couple bucks here and there. Because that's cool. Because then I can use those couple bucks to buy, you know, more parts for things like that. Right? That's a couple bucks worth of parts. And then I sell a couple of instructions for a couple of those, and that's a couple bucks. So I'm not spending a ton of money on this. But then I feel okay then buying this because it's like, this is just what I would be doing anyway. But the design stuff, oh man, can I F up another? Yeah, totally, totally messed that up. But yeah, I get you. It's just a hobby. But I like to think of it too as I don't, my job is not, um, my most favorite thing in the world. It's a great job. I love the job where I work. I love the people. But I also know that it's not my career. Um, it's, it's weird because it is, but it isn't. I've been there a really long time. Um, but I also feel like not answering to the, well, what do you do? It's like, well, I build Lego and I design Lego ships and I, you know, occasionally draw and that's what I do. But then they go, oh, so you're a professional artist. And I go, no, I do tech support to make money. And they're like, oh, well, you just said, and I was like, okay, well, what I do and what I make money doing is different. So yeah, it's just a hobby. But I think hobbies are more who we are as people than what's your job? What do you do for a living? On my next TED Talk, I just did this this last time too. Monkey loving. Ah. The dot is the only thing keeping me from being the 1,000th of M Productions. I get ya. How aren't you a Lego designer? Well, I don't know. I would like to be a Lego designer and I have applied to be a Lego designer, but I feel like there's a process that you have to go through to get to become a designer and the process that I took to be where I am now was not that process. So like I went to school, I went to like a state school, I wasn't really good at engineering, I didn't take any uh, toy design classes, um, but I don't know. It'd be fun. I think, you know, I say that's, that would be a dream job, but I just, at this point, I just like doing this. Plus, I think there are a lot better builders and designers out there than me, so that's where the humility and the, yeah, it'd be fun, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kid myself. 
even like all those Star Wars micro fighters I do, I know there's like two or three other guys that are a lot better than I am. So, I mean, I'd be honored if any one of them were like, um, yeah, we really like your designs. We want to use them in official Lego sets. I'd be like, oh my god, really? But that ain't going to happen. So, I will continue to give them money, and they will continue to give me plastic. All right, Hope Castle, thanks for being here. I don't know a lot of real people's names, so I think Reed, right? Hope Castle, Reed. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. Don't hurt yourself falling asleep. Um, a sleepy Kodiak is literally sleepy. And then we have an actual person who is sleepy. That's fun. Good times, good times. So yeah, I actually have, there was a, um, um, you can have an application at Lego. So I've had a, like a, an official application with them every, and I renew it like every couple years or something like that. But it's, it's kind of, it's not a joke, but it's like, if I wanted to get on like this really weird low level of, you know, intern something or other, and I'm like, man. So that's why I try to do uh, an ideas thing, and I know there's a lot of people who do a lot of ideas sets, and they get picked up. Then there's people like Brickanick and Jang, and um, uh, I'm trying to think of who else really that do that. They're the RFLM group, where they're like the recognized fan of Lego uh, for media, and so they have a Lego channel and they review sets, and they have certain standards by which they are able to talk about Lego and do certain things, and I don't think I'm at that level. Um, we have a Lego ambassador in our lug, and we're gonna talk about it, but I don't know that it came up again. Things are in our lug are really weird right now. So. Well, thank you, MDOT, I appreciate that. Yeah, this is more, I try to make it family friendly but it's more adult oriented i try not to be all sweary and stuff but i mean i'm drinking whiskeys and beers and having opinions uh, and then these guys go home yeah but i've been wanting to be a lego builder and designer for a long long time most people have it's not like any of us grow up going, you know what, this Lego is great, but I just want to buy. And to be fair, there are people who do that. They're like, I just want to buy the sets and buy nice cases for them and display them in my house. And that's all I want to do. And it's like, all right, cool, you do that. I kind of get on those people, though, every once in a while. They'd be like, uh, here's my room. I'm like, sweet, where are all your mocks? And I don't get an answer. I'm like, uh, okay. No mocks, I get it. Uh, wow, okay, so I think I am really missing a piece here. Because there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Didn't overuse them in the back there, I don't think. Right? Can't tell. Uh, I'm gonna go back a few pages just to see. I'm going to use two of those when I should have used one, did I? No, there's two. And this is calling for three, and I don't see the third one. Do you? Is anybody? Third one? There's not many pieces left here, so hang on a sec. new gray and not an old gray. So I gotta make sure that I get it into the light and get a good, all right, that's good. Yeah, that's really weird, huh? I was just watching um, Frell, what's that dude's name? He was building the uh, Jedi Starfighter with the hyperspace ring and, oh, there wasn't a need for that. I was totally looking at that wrong. This looks like there's three of them. 
and there's just two, but there's a plate in between it. My bad, universe. Totally went a different direction. Um, I was just uh, watching his channel, and I was really floored that that many pieces could be missing from a set. It was just, you know, it was like watching, you know, somebody badmouth your mom or something. You're like, you can't talk about Lego like that. How dare you? But I mean, maybe he got a bad, you know, this is, I hate these spines. I do small little mocks like my Lego shark bobblehead. Cool, I want to see that. Is that going to be on your channel? So I've got a couple of, uh, I'll pull these guys out. So I've got uh, some brick heads that I made. This is Ann Richards, the local Austin celebrity. Um, she was shown in a uh, Alamo uh, bumper with a red phone, so I thought I'd give her that. Here's Matthew McConaughey. He doesn't have his name played anymore, but he's got his bongos and his shirts is coming off. He's an Austin person. Another Austin person, Bob Schneider. He plays guitar. He's a good singer. Um, and then a friend of mine and I built Bernie and Ert. Bernie and Ert. Ernie and Bert. So we got those guys. And then we also did... We auditioned for the Lego Master Show, and we built each other as brickheads on the set of Lego Masters. So that's me with my Dragon Ball shirt and a microphone because I like karaoke. And that's him with his t-shirt because he designs t-shirts. And we had built a micro scale building, and that's the set of the show with a little clear background part folders and everything. So yeah, sometimes I like doing small stuff. In fact, most of my stuff is small stuff. It's all micro fighters. And I forgot where I was. But yeah, if you've got it, put it on uh, your channel. That'd be fun. Want to see. Um, we're getting to about 9.20, and I think I'm going to go till 10, just because I want to get at least through another, you know, maybe one more bag, but I doubt it's going to happen. But just a reminder, um, we're doing this for um, Fairy Bricks. This is a fundraiser stream, so please visit the link in the description. Um, and uh, donate if you can, a dollar, five dollars, whatever you've got. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Um, they appreciate it. I see how that goes together there. So when I was doing my owl and I was build, rebuilding it to make sure the instructions worked, there was a lot of this kind of stuff where I had to kind of retake it apart to see how it went back together. Not just build in step in the software, but then build it over and over again. And because um, the first time when Beth was building it, she was looking at it like, I don't understand what any of this means. And she's not a Lego builder, but I'm like, but if you don't understand it, then I can't expect a regular person to understand it because you're a regular person. You're not somebody who builds Lego all the time. I can't make a bunch of shortcuts and then have, um, you know, somebody buy it for a friend and the friend goes, I don't know what any of this means. I can't put Wendy this together. Shut up. Oh, Wendy from Science Versus. I'm going to listen to that one. Find out what's real, what's not, and what's somewhere in between. Oh. And this season, our show is all about the coronavirus. Nice. We're answering questions like, so I kind of have a podcast crush on Wendy Zuckerman from Gimlet Media's Science Versus before she was actually with Gimlet Media. It's the accent. It's the Australian accent. Um, I So I did musical theater and theater in college, and I thought about going into voice acting as a career, um, but it turns out voice acting is essentially the same thing as acting, which means you have to go audition and you have to do all this stuff and basically go poor in order to get work. And I was like, oh, God, I don't want to do that. Um, 
so I always have kind of an ear out for uh, dialects and uh, accents and the Australian accent I cannot get a hold of. I just can't. I can kind of fake a few others, but the Australian one is just, there's something about the O's, the long O's that have like, at one time they have R's and W's in them at the same time. And it sounds like you're saying a whole, a whole word in one letter. That was a lot on that one step. In restaurants only. Shush. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was just a pin. Oh, there's your there's your stick shift. That's a little awkward. Can't really see it. I'm not really showing you guys what's being built here, so I apologize. I need to get a camera that's like right above. I mean, I don't know, you can't really tell, but I've, like, Technic brick built my, oh god, um, my tripod for my webcam, so I could get it the right height and angle that I want, um, but sometimes it kind of doesn't work. Plus, now I have to build backwards, if I can handle that. It's a challenge. It's not like I was getting it all right anyway. Mm -hmm. That was a good bass drop. I am a fan of a good bass drop. So here's another instance of I may just not be seeing it. Maybe I used it somewhere and missed it. Nope, I don't see it. I mean, there's not like there's too many pieces. Unless I got knocked somewhere while I was effing around with all these guys. Okay, so hang on, let me get that. Some dead air while you're listening to the, the tunes. Does anybody know if this set was prone for parts issues? Wow, I didn't really jam a bunch of little bits in there, don't they? to check back on the Fiat. Oh, Zen Like Hell. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's it's coming along. Almost done with bag one. Bag one was weird, man. I mean, it had like five different little bags in it. Ugh. I might try to crack open bag two before we're all done, but I don't think I'm going to get much farther than that. So yeah, you can kind of tell back half's done. I'm kind of, this is going to be where the seats are going to attach. Here's your, something's going to attach there. That's probably the clutch and the gas pedal. You can kind of see how it's coming together in there. <clears throat> so. All right. I want to make sure this is all done. Okay. I didn't miss these three. Those three. Okay. I think we're good. I don't like messing up. This is the same gear shift idea that they did for, I think, the VW. Just that little bit. 
group. So there's your, with the H kind of flavor. I want to get a one stud custom kit. I have a friend, the new build, who has 5% code that codes TNB. I have no idea what that means. A one stud custom kit. All right, can I be a mod? Honestly, I don't know how to make people mods. I'm doing most of this in OBS and Restream, so I'll figure it out one day, but at the moment, uh, I don't have any mods. I'm my own mod. Because frankly, I don't have enough people in here to mod. But if the job comes open, I will consider you. I will consider your application. At some point, I'll be big and famous, like name somebody else who's not me, who's famous in the Lego world, and then I'll have somebody who just mods for me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I sound more bitter than I am. I'm not bitter at all. I like everybody in the Lego world that I've run across. In person, online. Some are more abrasive than others, but they're still okay. You know, the worst Lego people are better than the some of the best actual real life people. They're like band people. Band people, when you're a marching band kid, you grow up to be good people. Marching band kids are pretty good. Um, so, like Lego people are like that. Lego people are genuinely pretty good. Gonna be a hot sun in the old town tonight. Oh, and oh, I see. Is that supposed to go there? <laughs> I just realized that's supposed to attach. Well, you you didn't make that clear, Lego. Wow. This is, these are either weird directions or I'm just not following them well. It's probably more the latter. All right. Uh, no music. Are you gonna play? Do I have to skip? There we go. Uh, I bought the Technic Nissan GTR, but the Speed Champs GTR with minifig is way more fun. Stuff to give GTR in a box. So you get custom Lego kits from one stud, and the new builder has a 5% off code. The code is TND. I got you. Okay. So a lot of people I met at the Lego store are all right, except it seems there are some concentrated knobheads out there who would steal from... like to remind you there are an uh, wow holy monkey there has got to be you are kidding me with this I look at all these parts okay first of all I didn't even use this there, there wasn't a step to use this. My giddy aunt. Look at all these extra parts, man. This is kind of ridiculous. Look at all that. That's extra. It's a, There's a one by two. I mean, okay. I don't think I'm missing a one by two anywhere. But I mean, I might be. Oh, I totally am. <laughs> uh, of course, it's on a critical junction. That's right. We can fix it. We have a technology. Gotten so used to ripping things apart and putting them back together. Oh man, I hope Glenn doesn't rewatch this later. He's gonna have my hide for how much I did not pay attention to the instructions. How did I miss this whole step right here? All right. Now, this makes more sense. I still wanna flip back through real quick. Just to see 
if I indeed missed that step. Because sometimes talking with you find why they got to do that. What's up, Mason? Hi, B, man. How's your uh, mini painting going? Got your cameras figured out and whatnot? Oh, I did miss that step. And that's where this other piece went. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to rip this apart because we got, we got stuff to fix. Because this is no bueno. Which means I will have an extra leftover. I don't know what this thing's going to be back here. But... Ah, ha, ha. All right, so remember how I had to go get an extra one of those because I couldn't find it? It's because I put the wrong piece in here. Oh, now it's all literally coming together. I just gotta remember where that piece went. It didn't go in there. Right here. Like so. Like so. Bing bang boom. Um, and then this guy right there. This guy went here, because this guy went here. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat right now. I will be with you shortly. As soon as I make sure that I got this sussed. Oops. Oh, and look how quick that was. Nice. All right. Okay, this I feel better about. This is, because you should only have like one by ones and small bits. You should not have two by two bricks as your extras. So, I mean, that really freaked me out. Uh, I always get extra random pieces in my bag, single studs, lights, everything. Yeah, you should always get, and I, I didn't quite show it because I can see it, but you can't. These things, these one by ones, you know, tiles, Technic pins, these things with the pips, a bar, antennas. This is what you should get as I hear. That's still a lot. That's still a lot, and I don't get why that's so much. But, I mean, I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's all there. Even if I didn't get it all in the engine block, which I think I did, that's still a lot. But, yeah, you should always get one by one bits. It's just a lot of parts. So, you know, hooray for parts. 9.37. I'm going to open the second bag, but I probably am only going to build for another 10, 15 minutes. Um, I don't know if anybody is doing the um, stream next. I don't think so because I think everybody else is asleep. Um, least of all in the UK and least of all in the Netherlands and everywhere else. But... Um, here, I don't think anyone's going on later. I think there may be somebody who's streaming right now. I think maybe, uh, well, let me see. Um, let me see who's on right now that might still be doing stuff. Other than me, obviously. Oh, subscriptions. I'm like, nope, just me. Um, oh yeah, Moto is on Boone's channel, so everybody go, everybody jump over to Boone's channel, because I'm sure everybody's already there. Who's your bricks is on? Who's your bricks is on? And uh, Butt Chop and Haley Bricks are over there. So I don't know that they're doing a. Um, I don't know if they're doing a Fairy Bricks thing or not, but. Definitely go check them out. Apologize for the sound. Yeah. 
Hey man, all you people who are here, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out, spending your time, listening to that. dark red and butter yellow so we're gonna do some chairs in this I can already tell we're gonna do chairs in this uh, bag it's run bag two um, I'm not gonna get all the way through bag two so what we'll do is Sunday morning I'll be here Sunday morning I think I am actually gonna switch I'll have to change my uh, my other streaming service um, schedule it's not really a schedule, it's just a graphic that says when I'm on. But I think I'd like to do that. That gives me more time to have a Sunday night where I'm not freaking out about getting this done and then getting to bed for work, and it kind of gives me the whole day. So... Plus, it's less time between now and then to let this sit here. Because there's one thing I hate is letting a set sit for any length of time. Um, I just, I, I'm not a fan. And even after I work on it Sunday, there's a chance that I won't be done with it Sunday. Although there's only three bags, so I should be able to get it all done then. All I hear is crinkle and plinks while I build my stuff. I'm immune to it. That's all, that's, that's all you should hear. I'm sitting in the dark just watching this stream. Sweet. I mean, eh, I mean, eh, all right. If nothing else, Harris Heller on the music. Go check him out on Spotify. He's doing good for the community by having like uh, royalty free music that everybody can use for streams. They're stream friendly music. Go drop them a subscription or a like or whatever they do on Spotify. I barely use Spotify. That's not true. I listen to Spotify all the time, but the only thing I really listen to is Flogging Molly. And I can't listen to Flogging Molly on a stream, so you get this. And you could probably verify that with Beth. She, so what, what has Ben listened to music-wise? Uh, Flogging Molly. Flogging Molly and, and Daft Punk and a bunch of crap that I don't even know what to call it. Because he's old and he hasn't learned how to move on yet. All right, slow down. Let's see if I can get this in here so you can see it. So nobody cares about my endless ravings. They want to see Lego being done. I do David Fezzelian. Fez Fez Is a musician? That's who you listen to? Building a train. You know shit, man. Vader Castle has 12 bags. Had to build and watch Star Trek Marathon because my OCD. Yeah, I don't know. I remember, um, I think it was a few streams ago, I did the Apocalypse Bird, and it was like 14 bags or something. I just, I lost my dang mind. I did a lot of it off stream because I didn't, you know, I'm just like, I don't know when else I'm going to do. This is going to take me three months worth of streams just to get through this. But um, that is some of my favorite stuff to do is build and watch Star Trek or Star Wars or any number of other nerdy crap. Lord of the Rings. That's my go-to, man. I just did another marathon of Lord of the Rings. So I do a thing every year, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this year, where I invite a bunch of people over and we watch all three of the Lord of the Rings movies, the, the uh, extended versions, and I start at like 8 in the morning. And everybody brings 
Oh, royalty music go to. Cool. I'll remember that because I'm sure after a while I'm gonna probably have to burn through this and get something else to listen to. So I'll come back to my Discord recap of this and pull that off there. Thanks for that. Um I made a video on Ideas Rolling Stones project. Cool, cool. I'll check that out. Uh, Jerry, you're building a train. What train? Is it the Disney train? Or is it a train you've done? Like you, like your own train, a recap of something. Or a recreation. See, I can tell this is going to be a little... I don't want to say dubstepy, but it's a little bit of that kind of... A little of that transformer sax sounding. But so far, it's all right. I can deal with it. Stones, Twisted Sister, and ACDC. Right on, man. I went through a... Um, not funk, but I went through a thing today at work where I was doing nothing but listening to NXS. I loved me some NXS when I was a kid, man. I still have... Listen Like Thieves on LP, I think. Um, just so good. I'm sorry I keep like doing this, but like my shirt is hurting me somehow. It's kind of funky. Doesn't it even show the pieces need per step? And I'm a T4. Nice. Yeah, I mean, my daughter, when she was probably, I want to say she was probably about 14 or 15, she comes up to me and she's like, do you know this band called The Offspring? And I was like, oh, sweetheart, yes, I do. And first of all, thank you for calling it The Offspring. So, I mean, you know, and my son, he's 16, he listens to Chicago and... You know, Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, it, it's the music you find, and it's whatever speaks to you, so that's good. Jerry, I'm going to agree with you. I went back and did a um, version of what I'm doing right now, so you can see. I recreated the M-Tron. Oh, God, I can't remember the name of it now. The big M-Tron set that had, like, the six or the four big wheels, and it had the big crane on it. Um, something core magnetizer, mega core magnetizer, but I rebuilt it to be Futuron um, themed, right? So it looked like a Futuron set, but it was still the um, the Mtron model, and because I still had the instructions for it, so I was like, oh, this would be great because then I can just go through the instructions and pull out pieces where I need them, and it'll be awesome, man. They don't tell you nothing in those old sets. They just went, here's a new step, figure it out. And it's like a puzzle, which I think is kind of cool, right? I mean, it took a lot longer, but because I'm staring at each thing going, do I have that? Okay, do I have that? You know, but it was fun. And it was just like, you know, the instructions are thin because they've got giant steps and they add 40 pieces per step. It's ridiculous. Who doesn't listen to Chicago, though? You'd be surprised. And I mean, I, I'm, I may be old, um, but uh, even I wasn't around for, like, most of what Chicago was doing. Like, by the time I was old enough to kind of figure out my own music... Chicago was basically Peter Cetera. And Peter Cetera went on and did his own thing. So that's where I got into it. I think that's where that goes. We're just going to assume that goes there. It looks like it doesn't overlap the gear shift or the emergency brake too much. 
Say sa. I got really uppity today. Beth was listening to a, her Canadian podcast guys do some trivia, and it was blessedly very little trivia about Canada because we don't know anything about Canada. But um, they did have enough to where you're like, I don't know, I don't know who the, the the news station in Newfoundland is, and it was a couple of Newfoundlanders, so it wasn't even like Toronto or Edmonton, Canada. It was Newfoundland, so we were kind of like, uh, okay. But I mean, it was mostly just general trivia, so we, we did pretty well. But there was one question that was uh, words in French that, French words that you didn't know that you used in everyday life, or phrases, things like that. And one of them was a uh, sauce you make with flour and butter, and I'm like, oh, that's a bechamel. It turns out it was a roux, and I got all uppity about it. I'm like, mother, a roux is a bechamel. It just depends on how long you cook it. And so I had to look it up and I was getting all bent out of shape. Oh, that's wrong. Totally did that wrong. I wasn't even paying attention. I got all bent out of shape about it. About some stupid French words in a trivia contest. Oh, that's, oh, that sucks. I'm supposed to be white. Five from 150. I don't know what that means. 145? Oh my God, how am I gonna get these off of there? Well, these are going to be never used again, so. Wow. Okay, well. I guess. Yeah, because see, the tiles have grooves. You can get your fingernail under there. Or a brick separator. But this. Oh, what a cluster if you mess that up like I just did. Do a speed build on a poly bag. Nice. Oh, oh. oh wow, that was just that was trying. That's something I miss about not going to conventions, and admittedly I've only been to a couple of conventions, is that you can't do speed builds with people, you can't do the blind builds, you can't do the um the bag builds, I always thought bag builds were fun. I like doing that. I like getting a small set, putting it in a Ziploc, taking it with me, going to a place like a bar when we used to be able to go to bars. You guys remember that? Remember you could go out and do stuff and like eat in a place where then you didn't have to clean it up and you didn't have to cook? Do you guys remember that? Ugh, terrible. Because um, we don't here in America. We are stupid and wanted to get all our haircuts done and nonsense dang old dang old hey um so um so i'll put them in a ziploc bag just a small set that i've taken apart and then i go to a place and i'll try to rebuild it in the bag just some idle fun because sometimes you know, and sometimes i don't even take it out of the pocket or bag or that i have but it's nice to have just in case and i've used it a couple times and it's not like I'm bored or bored with the people. I'm just kind of keeping my hands busy. And it's, you know, entertaining conversation starter. Oh, what are you doing? Not paying attention to you. What are you doing? So I don't have any of these in uh, black, so that's nice. These uh, brackets with tubes. These are cool. I like this. Some of my favorite parts of the last few, whatever. There's a bar called Purgatory that I'm waiting for them to open up again. I don't drink, but their food is amazing. There's a lot of those gastro pubs that are coming out that are nice. Um, our regular tap room started doing food, and at first it wasn't awesome, but they got a little better. And uh, now their pizza, they basically just do pizza and wings, but its it, at first it was kind of like, eh. it tasted like frozen pizza. But now it's it's pretty good. Um, and I look forward to going there once we can go places again. Um, but yeah, there's a few gastro pubs that are really good. Oh, interesting. How do I... Oh, put those on wrong. I thought I had those on right. I don't drink because obviously I'm a T-Fold, and well, you shouldn't. 
young sir. Put your effing hands up! Yeah, I wish I could listen to Daft Punk while I was doing this. That would be so much nicer. Kind of exactly what I want. But no, it's copyright. Mm. Also, Prohibition. Can't wait for them to open. It's like a 1920s style bar. You even have to go through a bookcase to get in. Man, yeah, there was a uh, there's a place in Austin from back in the day, and um, it was called it was literally called Speakeasies, and you had to get through it. You had to get through it to it through an alley. Um, you didn't have to know a password or anything, but they also never advertised. There was no nothing on a door saying that they were there. Um, so you had to know where it was, and then when you got in, um, it was a great, it was a great bar. It was so much fun. How high does that go? Um, then there's this other place that was, I forget what the actual bar was called, but the. You went in and it was basically just like a regular little bar. It was just like a bar, some tables, TVs, you know, it was kind of run of the mill. But um, they had this place called the B-Side, which was, if you knew where it was, you could kind of duck away. You come in off the street and there was the main bar, but then there was like this little thing that went off to the side that looked like it was a bathroom entrance or a, you know, employees only kind of thing but then it went to this whole other place that was this dark secluded had like these big round plush chairs and little bitty bar and there was just one guy back there with a big mustache and they had a they had a wee heavy there oh my god that was so great it was it was heady days my friends when we could do that here in austin um not that we can't now it's just kind of you know I'm older and don't like going down to the 6th Street area. It's just kind of like that. But that was a lot of fun because it felt like you knew something that not everybody knew. And it was kind of pre-internet days, so or pre-social media internet days. So it's not like everything got out word of mouth. had to be kind of word of mouth. It was good. Does root beer count as a drink? Anything that's liquid that you put down your gullet, that's a drink. Um, we have a lot of friends who don't drink anymore. They've had reasons that they can't, and they still kind of go out with us when they can. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they offer themselves up to be drivers for us um, when we want to get stupid, because we, we do get stupid, and it is stupid. But don't drink, kids, until you're older. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock. We're getting to the top of the hour, and I've gone on a little longer than I was originally going to, but um, I'm going to end the night by reminding people to visit the description link with uh, a link to um, Fairy Bricks. Uh, again, this is, a, you know, this is a fundraiser video and a fundraiser stream. And we really would appreciate, Fairy Bricks would appreciate if you could go visit that GoFundMe and donate. And the, the proceeds go directly to them. You can also go to go uh, to Fairy Bricks site and if you wanted to and bypass this fundraiser altogether and donate. Um, but we really appreciate it. Uh, Sleepy Kodiak, thank you again for your generous contribution. That was really awesome. I'll make sure... Um, I can't, it's going to kill me not knowing the dude's name. He's the guy who set it all up. Um, he will he will draw something for you since you did X amount. Um, but I'll make sure to let him know. Um, maybe a sig fig, maybe a uh, channel icon, something like that. So I'll make sure to put him in touch with you. And I will make sure to go um, 
subscribe to you or follow you on Instagram because I want to see your stuff. And uh, yeah. Do what I want. You can't stop me from drinking another root beer. Yeah, man. I'll be up all night. So yeah, I think I'm going to kill it right about now. I've got like two more pieces to put on and then I'm going to kill it. Got this boat bottom and I've got this inverted slope and that will do it. I'm going to put these chairs on and it says there's a right way and a wrong way so I'm hopefully going to do it the right way I can, and I can't tell the difference. Oh, You have to be way over here apparently. Not next to here, but over here. Not there, but there. Not there, there. Not there, there. Not there. Hopefully I can move those. All right, that's where we're gonna end it for tonight. Uh, we got some of that done. We got half of bag two. Guys, I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for coming out. I'll put my brick separator in that book there. Um, if you can get over to um, that link, great. If not, spread the word, share it out, put it on Facebook, tweet about it, put it on Instagram, anything to help. Um, we all very much appreciate anything that you can do. Um, it's for kids, it's for sick kids, it's for dying kids. I mean, you really gotta help out at this point. Uh, does my donation was a fluke? I wasn't meant, meant to be in the giveaway. Oh no, I know, yeah. The giveaway was, Anybody who commented was entered into the giveaway. It was kind of a thing that was in the description. That's usually how those work, but I can totally use your giveaway to either donate it to the charity itself, or I can just donate 20 bucks to the GoFundMe and bump that up a little bit. So it's no big deal, no problem. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Um, I'll see you on uh, Sunday at 10 a.m. instead of Sunday at 8 p.m and I'll work on finishing this out. We'll have more to talk about. And you guys have a good night and play well and just get to building. Good night. <laughs>